we're just gonna entitle this Gold 2023. Let's hold each other accountable this year. Hello, my friends, and welcome to another episode of Weekly Bullion. Well, today we're gonna spend a little bit of time talking about gold. When I look at gold, I get filled with a sense of amazement and you see the shiny yellow stuff and you just seem to want more and more of it. So first of all, thank you for subscribing to the channel. And if you haven't already gone and subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and click that link down below to subscribe. And if you find the content enjoyable, go ahead and hit the like button and please share this with some of your friends. So I wanted to spend a little bit of time today talking about gold and its place in the stacking portfolio. So as you know, I stack a lot of silver, but I also stack some gold and I wanted to share my personal gold challenge for 2023. Now the first quarter of 2023 is already done. We're already past April, we're getting into May, but it's never too late to go ahead and set your goals for the rest of the year. So when I stack gold, I like to keep them in these tubes and I like to keep them in the airtight. So we're gonna go ahead and open this tube here and we're just gonna go ahead and see what we have in here. So we've got a few beautiful American gold eagles and these, you know, I've been stacking, I think I bought my first bit of silver in, I believe it was late June of 2022. And that's when I started my stacking journey. And I've picked up a few pieces of gold along the way. Most of this gold has been picked up this year. And I figured a good challenge for this year is to go ahead and get this tube completely filled with gold. And for me, I wanna just stack one ounce. I don't wanna stack fractional gold. Gold has its place in the portfolio. And I would even say for a lot of people, fractional gold has their place in the portfolio. But for me right now, I'm gonna stay focused on the one ounce variety. Now you all might've seen videos in the past where I've shared my gold Libertad collection. And if you wanna see that, you can just click the link right here. And um, I've got some very nice, uh, what I would call semi-numismatic gold. Uh, some of the higher price Libertads of the proof and reverse proof gold variety. But this is bullion American gold here. And uh, this is what I really wanna focus on stacking in 2023. So I've got very nice gold eagle here. And uh, here's another one. And I always keep them in these airtight containers. And if you guys want airtights specifically for your gold American bullion, I have a link down below in my description and you can click on that if you wanna go ahead and get some links to the correct size uh, airtights. And uh, here's another one right here. Very beautiful. So it looks like we've got three of those American gold eagles. And then we've got a few buffaloes right here. And I love the buffaloes because they're four nines fine. And when you kind of hold it right next to the eagle, which is uh, essentially three nines fine, you can see a little bit of the difference. The buffalo just really, really shows up. So that's quite nice indeed. So I've got three of those eagles. I've got some buffaloes here. This is another buffalo. Very nice. Here's yet another American gold buffalo. So I've got three eagles and I've got three buffaloes. And uh, this is this is my very first piece. Actually, no, it was this one. This is my very first Canadian gold maple leaf and I picked this one up I think it was late last year this is a one ounce gold maple leaf very very beautiful thick dense coin and I love that and then if you saw my video last week or a couple weeks ago you saw that I introduced this particular gold maple to the stack as well and so I've got two of those. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting these in the little container here. So we've got three of the gold eagles and 
we've got uh, three of the buffaloes, so that's six ounces of gold all told. And then we've got three of the buffaloes right here. We're gonna go ahead and put those in. So that's six ounces of gold right there. And then we've got two of the Canadian maple leaves. So I'll go ahead and put this one in there. I'll probably get this one in a little bit of a wider airtight, and then that'll go in there as well. So that looks like eight total ounces of gold, and I wanna go ahead and put 20 ounces in here by the end of the year. We'll see how that works. And then I picked up this nice piece. This is a slabbed American Gold Eagle. This is 2022, this is an MS-70. And um, this, is, this is just mint state, but I have it in a slab. And people can say, well, why, if you're just getting basic American Gold bullion, do you want it in a slab? And I think there's probably several reasons for that. I've got my own reasons. Um, I like to just have a little bit of gold that I have in a slab that I know what the NGC number is. I know the grading of the number. And it's just nice that I versify my gold stack by having some slabbed gold in there along with the loose bullion. So I wanna collect some of this as well. So the goal for this year is to go ahead and get 20 ounces in here, just complete the 20 ounces in this airtight container. Let me just put this on there for now. That'll be that goal. And then this little box here for these slabs contain uh, slots for 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in here. And I'd like to get 10 slabbed eagles or buffaloes in this container by the year's end, along with filling this up with 20. So it's a pretty ambitious goal. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hit it, guys. I mean, I'm just gonna be honest, but you've gotta claim it and you have to speak it into existence if it's gonna happen. So much so that I went ahead and I got my little label maker and we're just gonna entitle this Gold 2023, okay? So this needs to be filled by the end of 2023. I've got another one that I've made for this container here. And I'll go ahead and put this on there. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna neatly put it right here. And that's gonna say Gold 2023. So here's my challenge. I've got till the end of the year to get this full of slabbed eagles and buffaloes or something similar. And to go ahead and get this 20 ounce container completely full of one ounce American gold bullion in air tights. So that's the goal. What goals do you all have? What are your stacking goals for 2023? I figured I'd share mine. I know other people have shared theirs on YouTube. Let's hold each other accountable this year. If you're serious about stacking, then you know that uh, you've got to be stacking consistently. Let's do our best. Let's see if we can get this full. And listen, it's important to remember, stacking is an individual journey, okay? You might say, okay, your goal this year is to get one ounce of gold a quarter, okay? So you'll get four ounces of gold by the end of the year. Or you might say, I want to stack a one-tenth ounce every month. Every goal is valid. And so the goal here is to just be consistent. Gold right now is trading hands for roughly $2,000 an ounce. And it's been hanging out here for a little bit of time now. And as I tend to say, the longer that price stays at a particular level, the more valid that level becomes. And so the longer we trade at around $2,000 per ounce of gold, is the more valid I think that price becomes, and it might serve as a floor of support moving up from there. So gold could easily be trading well above that by the end of the year, we'll see. Either way, I'm gonna be consistent. I'm gonna to continue to stack my gold, and I hope you do the same. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments, what kind of gold are you planning on stacking this year? How far along are you on your goals? And Let's continue to support each other. Well, that's all I've got for today, guys. Until next time, stay blessed and keep stacking.